Hey guys, welcome back to part two in my fragrance series. So today I'm gonna go through about six samples that I'm currently experimenting with to see if it's a yay or a nay. When you're trying to figure out your scent, you want to be exploring. And one of the best way to do that is through samples. So I have a very small collection right now with only maybe 10 or 11 fragrances. So I wanna expand I want to expand that so I have a ton of samples and I'll be going through them in a series of videos. First one I'm gonna start off with is Jimmy Choo, I Want You. And I already know that I like this one so while it dries down I'm gonna tell you the accords that are in it. So it's white floral, vanilla, fruity, sweet, powdery, citrus, soft, spicy. And it definitely gives all of that. I immediately smell the powder. I'm not really getting the vanilla. This, I think I would definitely get a full size of. And I like it so much, I'm gonna put it on my wrist. This is so nice. This is really nice, I'm not gonna lie. It's very nice. Whew. I. So it's like sweet and floral, yeah, but it's not smelling like anything else that I have, even though it's from the same family. The notes are peach and mandarin, and I'm super surprised that I like it with these top notes because I'm not really a citrus girl, right? And the middle notes are jasmine, red lily, and the base note is vanilla. I'm definitely, because I definitely was not getting the vanilla, so that explains why. The next scent is gonna be Jimmy True Rose Passion. Um, let's see. Ugh, I guess I've never sprayed that one. So while it dries down, oh, this is pretty. So while it dries down, let me tell you the accords that are in there. So it's floral, tropical, vanilla, coconut, latonic, sweet, white floral, powdery, woody, citrus, and this is actually very pretty too. I didn't think I was gonna like this one. This is nice. Um, the top notes, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna butcher, butcher this one. It's Frangiani, or I don't know, Frangi, oh, Frangipani. Not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but if that's not the way, my bad, go figure it out. I can't, like, so this is as far as it goes for me, okay? All right, so the top notes are frangipani and jasmine. The middle notes are coconut and orchid, and the base notes are vanilla and sandalwood. I'm getting a little bit of the jasmine. I don't know what the heck frangipani is, so I can't tell you that I'm smelling that. But the floral notes are just hitting. Like It smells like a pretty rose. That's what it smells like. Yeah, so that's it for Jimmy Choo. Okay, so the third one I'm gonna do is Replica Bubble Bath. And this is by Mason Margiello. Let's see, I don't think I've ever, yeah. Oh, the diffuser in that one is working. Well, not diffuser, atomizer. I don't think I like this one, but anyway, while it dries down, let me tell you the accords that are in there. So it's soapy, coconut, musky, sweet, lavender, powdery, latonic, tropical vanilla and white floral so a lot of notes that i like but starting off soapy i don't know how i feel about that and here are the notes so the top notes are soap and bergamot the middle notes are lavender jasmine rose i kind of smell the rose coconut white musk and patchouli so let's see this smells oh I surprisingly like this one but it doesn't really go with the DNA of the like my usual scents it does smell like it smells like a really pretty nice soap <sighs> I don't hate it but I probably wouldn't want a full-sized version of it like this is a great, I think this would be a great scent for like summer or daytime. 
like I can see this like drying down to be like a skin scent where you know like it probably you're the only one that smells it or somebody that's really close to you it's really nice really light really fresh okay so next up we have the Armani my way and these are all perfumes by the way like I said I'm just a perfume girly I don't do a lot of toilets I think I only have one toilet in my collection one toilet one toilet anyways I'm not spraying that too much because see I've used this one I already know I, I love it <sighs> this is so pretty like I've probably used that word like a thousand times since I started with it right <sighs> mm, this is beautiful I have to say like it's probably one of the best scents I've like from this batch mm. Okay, so I didn't even let it dry down, but anyway, um, this these are the awkward. So it's white floral, so it's white floral, tuberose, citrus. Is that animalic and vanilla? So the top notes are orange blossom and bergamot. The middle notes are tuberose and Indian jasmine, and the base notes are Madagascar vanilla, white musk, and Virginian what? Virginian cedar. This, whew, this is so nice. Like if you're a floral girly, you have to have this in your collection. I don't know why I didn't add this to my Christmas list. This is so nice. This is so nice. But anyways, yeah, moving along. Okay, so the next one is Michael Kors Gorgeous. I've used this one, but honestly, I have no idea how it smells, so we're gonna remember it together. Because the thing is, I've had a lot of fragrances, but I was just. Well, these samples, but it smells kind of nice. But, anyways, while it, while it dries down, um, the accords are white floral, woody. Love though, it's uh, starting off really good. Sweet, tuber rose, amber, floral, tobacco. Actually, I love a little tobacco in my sense. Um, citrus, musky. Animalic or animalic, whatever, I don't know. Um, and whoo, the perfume pyramid on this one is ridiculous. It has a lot. So the top notes are pink pepper and mandarin orange. The middle notes are tuberose, tobacco, jasmine, orange blossom, lang lang. Lang lang, lang lang, you already know. Um, <laughs> uh, base notes are, I don't want to call that word, wood. Um, tonka bean, cedar, cashmeron, benzoin, suede, and I don't know the other one, but two, all of those that I've said, and two other ones. So, wait, let's go, let's see how it smells. It smells nice, it smells nice, but just like okay, nice. And also, I don't know if I'm being biased because it's Michael Kors. And I don't like my colors. Smells nice, but would I want it in my collection? Probably not. I like it. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. <laughs> the last one is gonna be Kate Spade, New York. Actually, to be honest, this wasn't the last one my Claire Christian was, but that footage got deleted. So I think I'm just going to do that when I'm doing these fragrances. So these are all designer fragrances. So I'm just going to call that that. So, right. so while it dries down, the accords in this are fruity, citrus, sweet, woody, floral, amber, rose, musky, fresh, earthy. Well, fresh, spicy, earthy. So the top notes are wild strawberry, citrus, and bergamot. The middle notes are rose and freesia, and the base notes are cashmere and ambroxan. Like, listen, whichever of these don't pronounce right, leave me alone. But anyway, for the scent, It's nice, but I feel like the citrus is standing out a little bit too much for me. This is a definite daytime fragrance. 
it's just a little bit too suggestive for my liking so i personally would not be getting like a scent like this but it's a nice scent just too citrusy for my well yeah so the citruses are in the top notes which is why i'm getting that immediately and that's enough for me but this is a nice uh, this is giving like tropical not super tropical but just like a little tropical super like well no, it's not that that light but airy and uh, yeah it's nice but i'd wear it but I wouldn't personally like buy it like i wouldn't spend no coins on it I don't so in my next video i'll be reviewing more scents and um, but this all of these are going to be from one designer house so stay tuned for that one later